what it do you two it's your boy connor back with muscle addiction man if you're new to the channel you don't know it's a vibe make sure you stop this video right now like comment and subscribe man straight into the video man we out here that's a special day for me right here man big day as y'all can see we got parts scattered everywhere bunch of parts scattered we finna get this bumper finally took off uh got some headlights here the upgraded ones for like a lt lt model yeah brand new bumper got that for a steel damn thinking i'm gonna have to get this brand new because this is bent from the accident but uh i'm gonna let y'all know what happened with that and then uh last but not least grills right here up and lower all came in yesterday so been to try to get this bumper snatched off so and pop this hood too all right so this is gonna be a big test today to see if a lot of this stuff um, is thrown out of whack, especially with this side with the headlight and then this side. Uh, so, yeah, let's start getting some of this took off. Uh, I think this right here is barely holding on anything. Really can leave that on. Matter of fact, I'm finna go and swap this over now. Swap this over, this emblem, this bow tie, I mean, because this one don't have one. Quality don't seem too much different. Both flimsy. Brand new, though. Brand new. Alright, YouTube, I'm back. Got them switched over. To the new grill, start taking out some uh, parts. This is the new bumper outside. Um, people I got this from, man, they were real, real nice, and helpful. Um, looks like I'm gonna have to reuse this, but uh, but yeah, the people they were real nice and helpful, man. They told me if I had any issues with the bumper to uh, hit them back, and they the uh, I guess work with me or whatever but uh yeah can't wait y'all can't wait so i'm sorry to uh, probably jack up the car so i can have better access to the bottom side to take out them uh screws it's like some seven millimeters i think all the way around and then two bolts on that side and then snap off should be pretty simple hopefully i got all my bolts and screws that I need because I look, see here I think it's a bolt supposed to hold this in or something and I don't have it over here so I am I guess about to uh, see if I got those parts back here nope But yeah, I'm probably have to uh, see about getting another screw for that or whatever for that side. But yeah, I'm gonna start getting it snatched off and I tap in with y'all here in a second. Probably snap in this grill too. Go ahead and get that out the way. What I was just doing right here is a lot of build up right in between here. But ever since I crunked up the car and been driving it, like 
I can sit at a, a stoplight or something, or when I come to a stop, I can smell transmission fluid, ATF burning uh, from like inside of the car for some reason. But I don't see any leaks on the ground or nothing like that. So I'm not really sure where it's coming from. I know it's kind of wet right there. I'm not sure if y'all can see too good, but it's wet right there. Um, so I don't, I don't know if it's just a bunch of residue from when it was leaking, just kind of slowly escaping out. But uh, other than that, I think we're pretty good. Like I said, this, this does need addressing. Um, this needs addressing. But I'm about to uh, get this. These headlights took out now. And then uh, hopefully I can get this straightened out right here. So I can get this other headlight mounted in properly. So I'll get this took out and I'm going to let y'all know what it, what it look like. Oh, I forgot. I got to get these bezels switched over too. Um, yeah, I got to switch these over. Take this sensor out put it into the new just basically swap everything over so that's what i'm gonna do now and i tap in with y'all i take it now all right you two i'm back uh chime back in got some of the stuff switched over on here it's really been a booger i need the little piece that go in here little uh retainer clip right there white piece supposed to go right there hold that in and I don't have now. So, uh, probably gonna have to improvise, but for now that's fine. So I'm gonna get ready to finish taking this little thing off the bottom right here. And, uh, get ready to transfer this over. Like this thing broke right here. Good. That's all right. But, uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to actually take these headlights out. Go ahead and do this. I already got bolts took out. So one right here, one right here, and then two right here. I already took them out. Should just be ready to pull out now. Yeah. So, let me get this switched over. got this uh broken headlight as y'all can see this is what made it broke right here whatever so this is actually the spot where the mount's at right here so it broke smooth off and bent that right here but with this off we can finally get a good view of uh what it looks like up here and uh I say it ain't ain't too bad. I say so. I'm gonna straighten this out and mimic what this looks like over here, so that way the headlight sits right in. All oh, good. So find my little pliers. Oh, look like it's just coming straight off. That should be pretty easy to do. Something about like that. Something like that. Yep, yeah, think we good. I think we good now. So start putting these new headlights in. Put the link in the description where I got these just in case anybody wanna upgrade theirs, but these do have the the bar on it so that's the difference real quick chiming in with these particular headlights this plug is off like the way that it's made um 
this is supposed to be this side right here should be symmetrical to this side as you can see they offset so what I did was I took um, a razor blade which I don't know where it's at right here and then I just kind of just shaved this off right here because uh, this little retainer piece right here is gonna uh, this little red piece is gonna keep it in place so you don't really have too much worry about it so uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks like after I get through with it hold on okay so that didn't take but just a couple seconds just file that off at least it'll just have this one side to guide it in so that way the prongs are lined up but just try tapping in and showing y'all that but I got this side in I mounted up and it looked good so I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this on get everything switched over all right, YouTube, it's been pretty much a full day. Well, off and on, but I'm finally at my stop, as y'all can see. It's pretty much over with as far as the sunlight, but check it out. Check it out, check it out. We are all on with the new, new. Uh -uh. Yep. Fitment is looking okay. Not the best. I'm having some kind of little funky something going on right here. But uh I'm thinking a new fender should get it should get it right. But uh yeah. I ain't got everything just buttoned all the way up just yet. But uh it's close enough. Doggone mosquitoes is coming out, but yeah, got the um, got the grill on, grills or whatever, and the new headlights in. Everything lining up pretty good, real good. Um, so hopefully next couple of days or something, I can come back out here and put a couple more bolts on it. But as of right now, that's everything. Say I'm stop for the day. Pop this hood for y'all. So y'all can see what uh what it looked like up under here. Alright, look a whole lot more complete now. I did end up getting a chance to put this bar back on here. But I might order a new one. Let's see how that works. But uh, so far, it look okay. It look okay. Said everything. Everything look good. The headlights look crazy. Gonna turn these mugs on. Show y'all what they look like. Turn the park lights on for now. Oh yeah, we in there, we is in there. <laughs> ah, they look good. Y'all, I'm investing too much into this car. I'm liking this too much. I'm liking this way too much. Cut the lights on now. I think we got something funky going on with these lights. Gonna have to figure out what's up with this. It might need some adjusting. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Need some adjusting. Oh, you know what? It's cause this side is jacked up. Yeah, that's why. Oh yeah, so it look good, y'all. Look real good. Look real good. Turn these. Turn these on. Make sure everything work. Oh yeah. 
and I will be putting LEDs in here too. So, y'all be on the lookout for that. But uh, as of right now, that's everything, man. All done with everything. So, tap in with y'all either on the next video when I or when I start recording this again but it's pretty much in, uh, it for the front end so I'll start putting up my tools and stuff before it get too dark but uh, yeah man hope y'all like it it's coming along tap in with y'all later yes sir what do you to it's your boy Connor chiming in uh, I thought I had turned off the camera last time, but I didn't. Uh, I'm turning it back on now. But let y'all see the car a little bit better now. In the daytime, or not, with the bumper on and stuff. I got all the bottom pieces in and everything. Fitment looking pretty good over here. Uh, a little bit better shot of this in the daytime i don't think y'all can see it y'all can see it a little bit right there but the gap you know the, the fitment right there is it's off like i said but i think it's because of that fender uh because like i said this gap is kind of big now i don't know it's just out of way so i'm thinking it's this fender either this fender or something else up down in there i need to be pulled out some more um to get that out but other than that I mean, you'll notice it if you're looking hard enough. But I'm gonna wash this thing up. It's real dirty. Real dirty. I'm gonna put some water on this thing. Wash it up. Tap in with y'all in a second. All done. All done. Looking good. I found some uh, black wheel covers that I think I'm probably gonna buy for these. Probably make it look a little better. But yeah, got it cleaned up. 